On the campus of Utrecht University in the Netherlands, a 22-story student housing building is being powered entirely by its inhabitants. If the students want power, they have to produce it, which means they are far less likely to waste it. How does this 100% carbon-free, sustainable student building work? Well, there are 750 individual student rooms in the housing complex, and each student needs to generate about one to two hours of energy a day for their basic needs. In order to generate the power, the students exercise in the human power plant, which takes up three entire floors. The power generating gyms are equipped with various individual and communal exercise machines. Most power is produced by large treadmills and capstans, which are operated by up to a dozen students at a time. The students are motivated during their workout by live musicians. The students in the building take a lot of care not to waste energy. There are 22 floors and no elevators, so everyone has to climb stairs. All students take showers in a communal shower. Each student is allowed to take a one minute hot shower per day. Students may only use cold water to wash their clothes. About 80 to 90% of energy used by a washing machine is to heat the water. The students are experimenting with detergents that act well in cold water, and they typically wear woolen clothes, which requires less washing. The excrement from the students is turned into biogas that supplies the energy for cooking. Special toilets called vacuum toilets separate the solid waste from urine and transport it to the biogas facilities in the basement, where it is transformed into the power to cook the food. On the roof of the human-powered building are 10 SkyStream wind turbines. Together, these can supply enough power to run a couple of jacuzzis, large screen TV, and a sound system, and a powerful gaming computer. I am Gary Vernier, and this has been a Pascual Bravo English documentary. Until next time, good luck with English.